Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in our discrete mathematics that is combinatorics. So this is a new concept which we are dealing in uh, discrete mathematics after the set theory. Right. So, this combinatorics is a part of mathematics. It is a part of mathematics. And we have seen different categories of mathematics, two types of mathematics. So, this mathematics deals with discrete max or dis discrete structures. So, which is countable or finite set or a finite elements so the study of finite elements or study of a continuum countable elements is known as a discrete structures and the study of this discrete structure is called as a discrete mathematics and this is a one part of this mathematics combinatorics so there are mainly three concepts we have to discuss in this combinatorics the first one is a product rule product rule or we can also call it as a multiplication rule multiplication rule and the second one permutations you may heard and you may aware about these permutations and if you are not then also no problem we'll solve those permutations and the third one is a combinations combinations right so this name itself indicates it gives the product product means multiplication right so if one event okay event or anything can be done in m ways m possibilities and if another event can be done in n number of ways right so if there are two events one event can be performed with m ways and another event can be performed in n ways then then the number of ways both the events can be done events can be done are m into n ways that means a product product of two things so that is called a production rule or multiplication rule or principle of counting this is also known as so this one is also known as principle of counting principle of counting so here we are supposed to use the multiplication so the name came here like production rule or uh, multiplication rule so product or uh, multiplication product rule and majorly these two things permutations and combinations are mainly used to solve different kinds of problems involving arrangements and selections arrangements and selections right so any kind of problem which involves these kind of things that means arranging a few things from n objects and selecting a few objects from n objects in such case we will be using these two things the permutations and the combinations okay so permutations means arranging the things that means selection and also arrangement of the things and coming to the combinations just selecting a few objects from a, some particular object okay so arrangement doesn't matter here so just to, we are selecting the elements so that kind of problems we call it as a combinations 
so these two these three are the major concepts which are involved in combinatorics combinatorics which is a part of mathematics that to under discrete structures see for example let us take one one by one if it is a product rule see example let us take an example so that you can understand so if i am having if i am having yeah a small thing three shirts and two pants then the number of outfits i can have are obviously three combinations and two combinations which is six combinations so six outfits i can get it. okay i can have a six outfits so three shirts and two pants so if one event can done in n ways three ways if another event can be done in n ways two ways then the number of both, both events can occur or both the events can be done that means the number of outfits outfits we can have is 3 into 2 total 6 outfits we can get, get it right so this is called as a product rule or a multiplication rule now let us go with the permutations permutations so arranging the elements arranging the elements we can use this permutations so that means if n objects are to be arranged arrange when r objects are considered or r objects are taken then the permutation is represented as the permutation is represented as n p r so n p for permutation and r so which can be calculated as n factorial by n minus r factorial so this is a most important formula just remember so permutations means not only the selection and also we have to arrange the objects arranging the objects okay so such type of problems we can solve by using these permutations so if there are n objects and we are arranging we are supposed to arrange r objects at a time then it can be represented as n p r which is a n factorial by n minus r factorial okay so example example so there are five books five books okay and how to arrange three books in a shelf right how many ways how many ways we can arrange how many ways we can arrange three books in a shelf so among five books we have to first we have to select three books and then we have to arrange those three books so then the formula will be 5 c sorry 5 p 3 which can be written as 5 factorial by 5 minus 2 factorial so which gives 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial so total 20 number of ways we can arrange the three books in a shelf among five books so two things will be happened in here so first we have to select the books and then we have to arrange the books okay so this this kind of problems we usually call it as a permutations 
Then a combination. What is a combination? What are the combinations? So combinations means not about the arranging, just selecting. That means uh, choosing the elements. Choosing the elements. Just uh, choosing the elements. If n objects are to be choosed, are to be choose where r objects are taken, then the combination, not the permutation, the combination is represented as n c r p for permutation c for combinations and here the representation will be in this way n c r is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus 1 factor n minus r factorial so this is the formula for n c r right n c r the combinations from n objects you have to choose only r objects so then n factorial by r factorial into n minus r. So example, with the five persons, if you have to choose three person committee okay how many ways a five person a three person committee can be chosen from a five persons okay hope you understood total five persons are there we have to choose a three person committee so here there is no question of arranging just we can select the three persons okay no arrangements okay only selection so just choosing of three persons among five persons then obviously five c 3 is equal to 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 5 minus 3 factorial. So that will be 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial. Okay. So you can solve this 5 into 4 by into 3 factorial, 3 factorial into 2 factorial means 2. So you can solve this one and 2. So total 10 ways we can form a 3 person committee from a 5 person. Once again I am repeating total 10 ways we can form a 3 person committee from the 5 persons. Here the question is just choosing a 3 person we have to form a 3 person from the 5 persons. So there is no question of arrangements just choosing the some objects from n number of objects. So such case we are going to use this combination. So that's why I have said that the permutations and combinations, these two concepts are mainly used to solve the problems where these arrangements and the selections can be done. So once again, I'll write the formulas and then we'll, we'll see a few more examples in our next session regarding the combinations and the permutations okay so permutation n p r which is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial next combinations n c r which is n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial. So just remember these two formulas so that in our next sessions we will see a few problems regarding these permutations and regarding these combinations. Right? And then we will go with in-depth problems in these permutations and combinations. So hope you understood this introduction about the combinatorics which is the complete concepts of permutations and combinations. So let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.